Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hi, I'm Courtney Garrity. This is my the LEGO World of Harry Potter build. Um, so we're going to start with the castle. There's um, before, you guys had interviewed me before, and the castle, most of it was sets. And I read comments and I saw someone say they wish it was mocked up, so I decided to rip apart the whole thing and redo it, so make it bigger. Um, so I guess we can start probably over at the Great Hall. Um, it's just, I added many more students eating. I added the owls in delivering the mail. When you move to the right, there is the divination class, and below it is the Hufflepuff common room and their dorms. Above is the um, dog, Fence Against the Dark Hearts from the Chamber of Secrets with Lockhart. I really liked adding the little Cornish pixies in, and you can see um, Neville is hooked up on the top of the chandelier. He always gets stuck somehow. When you come around, I just made kind of a common area for all the houses to get together. And then it goes into the clockwork tower. On the top is the Patronus, where Lupin is teaching Harry how to do the Patronus. And they're using a boggart. Below it is the um, hospital wing, where Harry had broken his arm, and Lockhart tried to fix it, and he had no more bones. So the, they had to use the Skelligro. Um, across from it is the is McGonagall's class, where they teach transfiguration. And then across from it is the other Defense Against the Dark Arts when Moody has taken over. Um, and then you can see the prefect bath with Harry finding out um, what happens for the second Triwizard Tournament challenge. And then below it, um, I believe, is a closet? Oh, no, it's um, just a place to store the wands. There's a lot of rooms. It's hard to keep track. There is. Sorry, there is a lot of rooms. <laughs> Um, and then next to it is the broom closet where Rita Skeeta pulls Harry into to give him his interview. I, I really don't understand that. <clears throat> and then if you come in the front, this is the flying lesson where Neville gets sucked up into the air and he doesn't know how to stop himself. And then next to it is Fluffy when they go um, to try to get down in the challenges. And then below it is the where they get stuck in the, I can't think of it right now. Um, with all the vines and Hermione has to save Ron. Next to it is the flying keys and Harry has to get one, the oldest one, to get into the door next to it. Then they go on to the chess room and Ron saves the day because he's really good at wizard's chess. And then it's the final scene where Harry um, meets Quirrell and realizes Quirrell actually has Voldemort attached to him and that's how they try to get the Sorcerer's Stone from him. I love all the interior rooms you've done, both on the top floor and then kind of underground here. Yes. Just adds so much life to the build. That's amazing. Yeah, I really like that. I really enjoyed, this is the common door, the Gryffindor common room. It's when they have to pretty much knock Neville out so that they can get by him because he tries to stop them. And then across there's also, this is Slughorn's party. Um, it's the during the Christmas party. I added a couple extra characters that weren't necessarily there, but they were just easy to add in. And then next to it is the Room of Requirement where Harry is teaching the uh, Dumbledore's army how to defend themselves with all different spells that nobody else is teaching them. Um, then across there's the library is up at the top. And in the bottom is the throne room where they have all their trophies. And next to it is the duel between Draco and Harry. Um, then there's also the greenhouse with um, get it, the herbology class and in it Neville passes out because he forgot to put his earmuffs on and the mandrakes knock him out. Um, you might have to go to the other side. Yeah, we can keep, keep making our way around yeah. then. So what is this section over here? So here is the Hogsmeade station. Um, the sta train's going to stop. That is where the students get off and then um, they take the boats over to the castle to get up into the castle. I added, this year I added um, the squid and he's rescuing um, Dennis Creevy had fallen into the lake and the squid is rescuing him. And what's next here? So this is uh, the Weasley's house, the Burrows. Um, when I originally had done it, it was the set and then I made it much bigger so I could add, I have Ron's room, Percy's room, 
um, Fred and George Weasley's room, Ginny's room, and the parents' room. I wasn't able to add Charlie and Bill yet, just because I didn't have enough time to make it much bigger. The, the layout is quite expansive on its own, so that's understandable. Yes, it is. There, there's a lot to look at. I've had that conversation of, it's so much. I keep pointing out different scenes. Um, you can also kind of see in the forest, I have the seven potters flying through. Um, they were getting Harry out of Privet Drive and bringing him to the Weasley house. So you can see them floating around. I also really like, I like making the trees, so many different trees to look at and have different colors. And there are a ton of animals. I love animals. So when I saw squirrels come out, I need 15 of each color. and. Lego animal pieces are just the best. There's so many incredible ones. They really, really are. I collect as many as I can. <clears throat> um, we come, this is Luna Lovegood's house. This is from the Deathly Hollows when they go to visit uh, Mr. Lovegood to find out about the Deathly Hollows, um, about the, the, I can't remember. They go to visit him to get information to help them figure out how to find Horcruxes. And that was a really, this is probably my hardest build because there's curves in it how it angles and but I really enjoyed building it I also like to do research and watch movie clips and pictures and the movie is just so hard to see so I was able to find movie stills of how it looked inside and then we're coming on to Malfoy Manor what all do we have in there so it's the scene where um, Voldemort is holding a he, you know, he's, he's come back, he has all his um, followers with him, and he's trying to figure out a plan to get Harry, and I also was like, where am I gonna put all my villains? So I designed uh, Malfoy Manor. You gotta pack a lot of characters inside I did, there. I did, my, my favorite comment was someone came over and said, oh look, it's the Last Supper. <laughs> I like the way you did kind of the gardens out front there as well. Yes, that is showing Snape showing up to the house and Beatrix and um, Fenrir Greyback coming out to greet him. And like you said, your forest is just like a, a tree building Lego class happening out here with just like every imaginable iteration. <laughs> yes, yes. I uh, studied up a lot. I, you know, researched online and I tried to make, get as many colors as I could, which sometimes it's hard to get so many pieces, but I'm lucky and have people that are like, oh, I found this piece at this store, come get it. So that helps work getting things done. What, what are some of your favorites there? Maybe ones you would recommend to other people that you found would kind of work well and are easy like to do? Birch trees, you don't see a lot of those. Those are really cool. And there's little stormtrooper guns are what hold them together. So if it falls over, it explodes. <laughs> so that makes me laugh. But, but um, that gray is like perfect there does, on the bark. It makes it, yes, it makes it look really like the, uh, the birch trees. I also really like the um, these trees because you can get the pieces easily and it's they just stack on top of each other. So you can it's not like a lot of too much bricking, but um, they're, the leaves are woven together. So that's how I've gotten them to stick. Perfect, and that takes us to the train station? Yes, that's platform nine and three quarters. Um, I tried to make this one a little more detailed with adding more people and making it have the roof over the top. Um, so that's what I really, I really like, just making the scenes more detailed, putting as much into them as I can. How, how does the train know when to stop here throughout the layout? So there is a Hall Effect sensor on the train and there's magnets on the track. And when it hits the track, the when the sensor hits the magnet, it tells it when to stop and go because there's also a little Arduino inside, which is like a little computer inside that's been programmed to tell it when to stop and go. That's fantastic system, very cool. So that brings us into more buildings here. What do we have in this section? So this is, I just made apartment buildings and a bookstore. Underneath here is the Luciana Cafe, which happens in the Deathly Hollows when Harry, Ron, and Hermione have to leave the borough from the, from the um, wedding. And that's where they go to first to try to talk about their plan, what they're gonna do. Um, this is supposed to be like a Harry Potter apartment. <laughs> this is a Disney princess themed apartment. And the one next to it is a Star Wars themed apartment. I kind of add a couple little things in there, Easter eggs that aren't Harry Potter. Represent the other fandoms, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Next is Grimrod's Place. This is based on the Order of the Phoenix. When the Order is down in the kitchen, they're talking their plans, figuring out what's going on, and all the kids want to hear what they're doing. So Fred and George had an expendable ear, so they hang it down so they can hear it. 
Um, and then Her Hermione's cat Crookshanks tr eats the ear, so then they can't hear anymore. She's got nice kind of beds and things in there. Yeah, I tried to look at as many scenes from all different types of the Grimmauld's place um, to see like what the rooms looked like, where they stayed, things like that. And then a bit of a, a garden area out here as well? Yeah, this was just, I just threw this together because in Grimmauld's place, it's not just Sirius's house, there's other houses. So I wanted to throw in just normal muggles. Um, as you can see, there's little dogs. I love dogs, so there's a lot of dogs throughout um, the scenes. And this is coming up to Privet Drive. This scene is with um, Dobby and Harry. It's from the Chamber of Secrets where Dobby visits Harry to warn him not to go back to Hogwarts. And in the front, you can see the Dursleys. There we go. And that kind of rounds the corner now in this expansive layout. There's so much here, but I love the way it's laid out so people can kind of walk into the middle and really appreciate a lot of it. Yeah, no, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get people as close as possible so they can really enjoy the builds. So this next house is Mrs. Fig's house. She was a squib, so she didn't have magical powers, but she was part of the magical world. She, Dumbledore asked her to watch over Harry. And she raises measles, which are like a cat type animal. So hence why there's so many little cats in it. <laughs> and then over here is just a dog park because I like dogs and I wanted to add the dog park in. Noticing a bit of a trend here throughout the layout. Yeah, I love animals. <laughs> so I add as many as I can. And this is the Leaky Cauldron. This is where Harry goes with Hagrid in the first, and Sorcerer's, um, the first movie. <laughs> and he, uh, introduces Harry pretty much to the magical world and then brings him into Diagon Alley for him to buy all his new things. Um, I also added a scene from the um, Prisoner of Azkaban where Harry gets the monster book and the monster book falls to the floor and tries to eat Harry's shoe and it's, it's, it's a cute scene. I wanted to add that in. So, that takes us here? That's the Diagon Alley. Um, half of it is the set and then the other half I designed by watching the movie, seeing what's in there, and then Gringotts Bank is at the end. Um, there's a lot of different characters. I really like collecting different people and trying to make everything as diverse as possible. Um, there's a couple Easter eggs. There's a, I have Superman. I have the Home Alone van with the two guys that are thieves. I have E.T. and Elliot. I just like throwing in a couple other fandoms in there. What are some of your favorite details in the, the buildings over here? Um, I really like the stickers that I designed. Um, I just think it gives it, you know, a lot more detail so people can see what the stores are. And I just like adding all the little just people with pots and potions and animals and vegetables and just everything to make it really feel like you're a part of the Harry Potter. Sure. No, that looks fantastic then. Yeah, very good work there interiors on all the back of the building so fully playable yes 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 fully playable lots of different candies and potions and things like that that you would find probably in harry potter so then go ahead no i was going to say green guts bank that happens in the deathly hollows when hermione has to pretend to be beelatrix so that's beelatrix and that's hermione and ron and then Harry and um, Griphook are underneath the invisibility cloak to try to get in. I eventually want to make it bigger and do more with adding the dragon and things like that. <clears throat> this is probably a very, very small scene, but it's one of my favorites. Um, it's actually supposed to be the picture of Harry's parents, Lily and James. He has that picture sitting in his room, so I wanted to show that. So it's a photographer taking a picture of it. And we'll keep moving around. They are wrapping up the show here as we record this, so you might be able to hear a little bit of that in the background. Yes. yes. So over here is the Durmstrang ship. That was a set. I'm not really good at building boats, so I used that. And then that brings us back to the other side of uh, the, the castle that we saw here earlier. Yep. Over here you see in the courtyard is the scene that um, the twins start putting off fireworks and fly out of the the Great Hall, um, and then next to it is, that's the Great Hall, and then you can see the carriage that carries the girls from the Bobatons uh, school into the, to Hogwarts to, during the Goblet of Fire. And then, 
Oh, okay. What is underneath here? So here is here is the potions class that Snape teaches. That was probably one of my most expensive little builds because the gold pieces in it cost about 70 cents each. And uh, and then it's uh, Snape's office next to it. And then below it is the Slytherin common room and the dorm room. I lit the back because it's supposed to be underwater to make it look underwater. And then it goes into, this is the Chamber of Secrets. This is where Harry, this is from the second the second movie and Harry is going to save Ginny from the basilisk um, and I liked adding I added more of a purple glow because it makes the eyes of the snake glow which is how people know that that's the basilisk <clears throat> next to it is the room that Harry they first end up in the room from coming from the ba the bathroom they end up in a room full of bones and then Harry has to go by himself because Lockhart tries to stop Harry and Ron and he, his spell backfires and it blows up the the rocks because Lockhart ended up having Ron's wand which was broken um, so then Harry moves on and he goes into where the the entrance the actual entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is and he has to speak parcel tongue to get the snakes to move <clears throat> and then up here we have Dumbledore's office And then over here is the courtyard, and this is a dark tower where Sirius escapes off of Buckbeat. And then in neck behind it is the astronomy tower, and that has, the top is the astronomy class, and then that's also the gray lady up in the tower. And then below it is the Ravenclaw common room, and then the dorm below it. And below that is Slughorn's office. Excellent. Fantastic work. So we'll keep moving then to this side. What do we have in this section here? So here, if you want to show here, that's the bathroom. That's where they go into the Chamber of Secrets. But that is where they do the Polyjuice Potion. And Hermione accidentally turned herself into a cat because she didn't grab a human hair. She grabbed a cat hair. And then over here is the bridge. It's a scene where Lupin and Harry are talking. And Lupin tells Harry, you have the eyes of your mother. And I knew your father and your mother. And probably one of my favorite scenes, the smallest one, is when Hermione punches Draco because he's being a jerk. And he's very scared, and it just makes me laugh. And then down here, you have the Dementors attacking Harry and Sirius. And Harry is across the way because they travel back in time. He's the one that puts off the Patronus to make all the Dementors go away. Next to that is... Luna Lovegood and Harry, they have gone to the Thestrals. Not many people can see them because the only way to see a Thestrals is if you've seen death. And here, Luna pretty much is telling Harry, I believe you that you saw Voldemort. We support you. You know, you're, we believe you. We go into the Quidditch match. This is between Gryffindor and Slytherin. And it was just really fun to add all the characters and have them look like they're flying. And that was a really fun scene. Uh, so, some more examples of trees here. The, these are ones that are more similar. Yeah, they're more similar. It was just the dark forest, I feel like, has to be more dense. And I didn't want to put too many trees that I had to figure out how to place them. This was just easier to be able to place them in. Yep. Over there is Gwarp. Um, it's the scene where Harry and Hermione take uh, Umbridge down to show, because she's trying to tell them a secret. And they bring her to Gwarp. And Gwarp picks her up. And the senators are trying to attack her because she is just not very nice to the senators and doesn't like them. So, Round the corner then here, switching landscapes a little bit, what is this section? So this is Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is at a higher level, so Hogsmeade tends to stay more winterized, um, so that's why it's so much white. And uh, there's just a lot of students at this point. This is the students visiting um, from Hogwarts. And the first building over here is Honey Dukes. Um, I have a lot of little added stickers to all the little pieces to make it look like the candies that they have and the sugars, snacks, and everything that they would have in the sweet shop. Next to it is Zonko's joke shop, so there's a lot of stuff that, you know, puking pastels and things that will help you get out of class if you need to. <laughs> a lot of, and a joke shop. Eventually the Weasley twins make their own shop and they take a lot of stuff from Zonko's. Next to it is the three broomsticks. The top layer is from the third, from Prisoner of Azkaban, where Harry follows um, McGonagall in because he hears her say something about 
he attacked their parents and he wanted to find out information of what happened. And then below it is when Harry is trying to find out information from Slughorn um, from, I believe it's the Order of the Phoenix, and he's trying to become buddy-buddy with him. So then, so you can see the front. And then in the back, right now you're looking at the outposts. That's where people go and mail all their mail or whatever they need to send out. Next to it is Glad Rags, which is supposed to have fancier clothing, wizardry clothing uh, for, you know, all different sorts of things. I'm sure this is where people get their dress robes from. And then next to it is Dominic Maestro's. That's the music store where they would get all their music from. And behind that, this is the Hogshead. It's where in the, the Order of the Phoenix, they make Dumbledore's army and that's where they meet for the first time to learn about it and figure out what it's about. And up top is from the Deathly Hollows when um, Hermione, Harry, and Ryan end up in Hogsmeade and Aberforth helps them get in and then Aberforth has told his sister in the portrait to go find someone and it ends up being Neville and he comes through and helps them get into the castle through a secret passage. Sounds good, fantastic here. I like the snow-capped trees, kind of using that technique you showed off earlier a yes. little bit. Yep, and then adding the white on the top to make it look like the, tr the snow. Next to that, that is the Shrieking Shack. This is the scene from The Prisoner of Azkaban where um, Harry has found out that Peter Pettigrew is actually Scabbers, Ron's rat, and he was the one that tried to, that helped get his parents killed, that it wasn't serious. So that kind of takes us back to the forest section then, what's happening here? This is just, um, this would be the path that the students would take to get into the castle. These are the carriages that they use. I believe they start using the carriages in the fifth, um, in fifth year. And then we come on, this is Aragog's Lair. Um, again, when you guys had done your video before, I saw a comment, someone said, oh, I wish the car was in it. So I made Aragog's air, um, Lair a lot bigger. I added some lights to make the car light up and his little lantern light up. Um, you can see there's also the TARDIS. That's another Easter egg I added in. And in the back there is the Hobbit hole. I just thought it, I was looking at it, I was like, oh, well, that would be pretty cool with the mountain. It blends in nicely. I don't think I would have even noticed no, that. A lot of people missed it. I, and they'd be like, there's a hobbit hole? And then we come up on Hagrid's hut. Um, I added a lot of the pumpkins and the crows. And I just, I really liked doing that scene. That was fun, adding all the little designs in. And we're getting close to, to where we started here. Yep. This is the scene with uh, the Whomping Willow um, in Prisoner of Azkaban where the kids have come out and Lupin has not taken his potion and is turning into his werewolf. And that's one of the scenes that I liked because Snape comes out and like actually tries to protect the kids. Because everybody's, we don't like Snape, he's so mean, but you know, he did, he does, he does care about his students, just, you know. And then here you have the Alry, that's where all the students send mail to get to their families. And this scene is where Harry um, is getting a note from Sirius. So that's why the owl is black. Uh, there's not many black owls, but that was Sirius' owl. And then finally, this is the horn tail from the Triwizard Tournament. It's the first scene, uh, it's the first challenge that he has to get the egg from the dragon. And I also made the tent that the students, the four competitors stay in, and it shows uh, Rita Skeeta trying to get information from, the, from them. Well, there we go. This whole layout is incredible, and I love to hear that you've kind of continued to update it and yep. taking that viewer feedback. That's super cool. I'm glad yep. you were able to continue to improve on it. Do you have any idea how many pieces are in this whole thing? Do you try to keep track? I'm, I'm going to guess 175,000. I didn't count, and I wasn't taking my sets apart to try to count. I do know there's 758 minifigures. Okay. Originally, it was 75 square feet. It's now 150 square feet, so it pretty much doubled in size. And I think there's almost 400 creatures, like little animals around. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to, to take us through everything here. And I can't wait to see more from you in the future. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.